Tonight's Four Seasons of Film podcast is crap night only. Remember, listeners, crap because of the reviewer and not necessarily the film itself. I wish I could say something besides fairy tale and weird. I like the energy, I just wish it was channeled to something else. Again, you're trying to make a point of they're no different than anyone else. This is definitely the front runner for the season so far. It's just Elba, my man. Did you not see Get Out? Don't do that. Because I had to watch like the Care Bears after that. The screenplay to this is so brilliant. All right, I'll decide what's so bad it's good. Today's uh, podcast is brought to you by Phil's Coffee. Phil specializes in handcrafted coffee made one cup at a time. Voted Best Coffee by SF Weekly in 2013 and 2014. Visit a location today or find them on the web at philscoffee.com. That's Phil's with a Z, coffee.com. Find the beans you're looking for. Foul-mouthed mutant mercenary Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool, brings together a team of fellow mutant rogues to protect a young boy with supernatural abilities from the brutal time-traveling cyborg Cable. Ryan Reynolds returns with Deadpool 2 tonight on the four seasons of film Crap Night Only podcast. I got a Sprite and a pack of Sour Jacks. I hope they last before the movie starts. After I'm done watching the movie, I'll rate it with some farts. It's hot. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the four seasons of film podcast. I'm your host, Nathan Robert Blackburn. Ha ha! You'll find out why. Scotty Brown is with me as well. Hey, Scotty. Hey. Let's just introduce him. Yeah, 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 Let's get best. this over with. Go. Okay. And Androgynous is here. I ain't got time for that, you tick turd. Hey, Andy. Hey, what's up? I'm Nathan. This is Scotty. Welcome to Thunderdome, bitch. Is it Thunderdome? Explain yourself. You look like Master Blaster. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, sell me this pen. Yeah, so this week, um, we saw Deadpool 2. All separately, I might add. Yes. And I think that maybe if I would have seen this with you, I would have enjoyed it more. Because I could have elbowed you in the ribs. <laughs> I could have talked the entire time during it. Um, I would have had somebody to turn to when the cackles were resonating off the walls and the uh, ceiling of the theater. Not to say I, that that's my review of the film. I'm saying it's crap night. Yeah, so I saw Deadpool 2, which is the return of uh, Ryan Reynolds reprising his uh, character of Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool. I always thought that that name was weak. It seems like Marvel characters always have the alliteration name. Yeah. You know, yeah. He makes fun of that, too, doesn't he, in the first one? Well, what, yeah. what doesn't he make fun <laughs> of? That's, that's this whole movie. That, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> it's, it's Andy's podcast. Andy's podcast. <laughs> well, are we going to go right into that, or you want I'm a sorry. Bit? No, this is your podcast. So, yeah. Your so, podcast. So this For those of you who haven't seen Deadpool... <laughs> Or know nothing about Deadpool. Let me ruin it for you. You came around on it. Schmuck. Um, so yeah, so this one picks up uh, a little after the uh, the first one. He's a mercenary going around the world, taking out, basically being a hitman. Then one day his... Uh, Who's he? Deadpool. Okay, that's great. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan, bleh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Come on down, Deadpool. Yeah, I went through that smoking the bandit quote, son. Yeah, I well, yeah, I, I saved it for now. Um, but yeah, so then and then his, you know, his love interest and some stuff happens, and then he goes. How on many this, times have I told you you cannot start a sentence with "and then" after there is a breakage of thought? Well, I, people can go back and rewind it. And then, who's going to do that? It's bad I, enough the first time. I, I do it sometimes. And when you give a review, don't say the sentence, and then some stuff happens, and... Well, I don't want to ruin it. Oh. <laughs> it's not <laughs> what ruining it! It's it. the beginning of the fucking movie! How many years have we been <laughs> doing this podcast? All right, so uh, Deadpool's uh, girlfriend uh, gets killed, and he goes on a, a rampage Who's of Deadpool? revenge. Who's Deadpool? Ryan Reynolds, Wade Wilson. Again, one more for the uninitiated. Dead, Who is Deadpool? Deadpool is a smart mouth mercenary that uh that has the abilities kind of like a uh, Wolverine. He was in the same program, able to heal himself. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. He yeah. volunteered for it. Wait, wait, uh, wait! Don't, don't I don't I don't want to be interested. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. So yeah, and that's and so now he uh, had cancer. Yeah, he had cancer. So the program saved him because his regeneration power. So so like powerful cancer too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, was gonna die. Every yeah. part of his body was dying. Because like in this one, when he starts like they get the bracelet on and stuff, and he's like the cancer is gonna take over quickly. Yeah. It's the, what so, kind of cancer is that? He had cancer of everything. 
Just like <laughs> <laughs> they make fun of it. Come even, on. even ass cancer. Uh, I like how many breast times. Cancer. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably. But Going into how tongue in cheek this series has Pet become. Cancer. Every time that he says to the camera, "That's really bad writing." That's okay. We'll get into this, but that's really annoying, by the way, because. It is better. Even worse when you do it in parts like that, and then you don't really do it <sighs> in other parts of your story because you try to take those parts seriously. Writing. Yes, even yeah. though it's the worst writing in the movie. Yeah. Is that ironic? I'm sorry. It's go ahead again. <laughs> again, it, Andy Drudgeon is. So yeah, the hijinks are back, but this time we have my man Josh Brolin uh, coming in from the future as Cable, who is five foot eleven, and when you put them all together, and I know they make fun of it, but you don't really get it until the, they put them all together. Boy, does he not look intimidating when he's so short. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's... Don't get me wrong. I love Josh Brolin, but when you see him next to everybody, you go, ooh. Yeah. I that's usually that. how it goes for those guys. I did. I, mean. I noticed that, too. You know, and then you're next to, uh, next to Ryan Reynolds. How tall are you, tall. Andy? I'm 5'7". Aha. Uh-huh. Hmm. So Josh Brolin is taller than me. <laughs> but me and Dustin Hoffman are the same height. Cool. I don't know anybody who's the same height as me. And and I think that might be like a shorter a shorter person's thing. I'm guessing. Yeah, right? it's a Napoleon complex type thing. Yeah. Okay, got it. You're trying to prove like inches, like dick size, or lack thereof. In your case, I agree. So and so he comes back from the future to try to stop this uh, fire fister uh, teenage the, a mutant. The terrible name. And that's did he name himself or fire fist? But yeah, it's a yeah. real character. But did they say that was his name in the movie? Yeah, he yeah. did. I go by fire fist. Oh man. And they make a joke about it, like, wow, that's... Uh... I was surprised you had a character in the movie. I knew that was coming. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh, shit, they're going to mention this. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so, Fire Fister. Uh... A.K.A. Andy Drudges. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't you happy? Happy for what? You got, you, you're in a Marvel movie. A guy like you finally made it into the Marvel movie my universe. My superpower wouldn't be fire out of my fist, man. Oh, I'll you, tell you that. It'd be like irony or something. Uh, that would be good. You had luck in Hair this Hair loss. One. You guys look like the thing for the last two years. So. Yeah, man. That could be the thing. <laughs> I was hoping. You I'm, definitely are the thing around the studio. Where's the thing? Hey, the thing's late tonight. <laughs> See? And I could have been in Fantastic Four with Ryan Reynolds. With? With? With. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so the, Josh Brolin comes back from the future to try to stop. Who's Josh Brolin? He is Cable. And you knew this. You knew this character. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we didn't give like the uh, the, the disclaimer on this that um, Marvel movies aren't the best ones for Marvel fans to listen to this podcast. <laughs> but after the Avengers, I thought th- that would be good. We're done, right? Uh, but I also promised I wouldn't see another one until the Avengers, uh, the sequel to Infinity Wars, came out. You can't say these are really mm. in their own uh, uni- their own thing. They're not really that tied to okay. what's yeah, going it's on. Not like so it's uh, it's Galaxy. just a break completely. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm also gonna have to see Venom because Tom Hardy. Oh, dude, I'm looking forward to that. We, really? We, now Why? I don't want to see it even more. <laughs> Venom's badass, but it, well, more on that. Don't slip that in there. More Venom is not a real character. He's a comic book character. Tom Hardy's badass. Who gives a shit hey. about Venom? That's why the symbiosis combining with the human form. Spell symbiosis. S. Continue. And uh, so, yeah, so Cable comes back to the future to try to stop this kid, and then Deadpool tries to save the kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is Cable? Cable is... Wasn't a, that the original question? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Cable is a... He's a super soldier that ha- is part cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> they really just ran out of ideas eventually, right? I mean... When did he premiere, like the 60s? No, no, he was later. He was in the New Mutant, so I think that was like 70s, 80s. Got it. I was uh, reading up on somebody uh, who uh, had made his his appearance in this, his big appearance, uh, and and I'll tell you some, uh, some great facts about that after you introduce who I'm talking about. Continue. What? <laughs> uh, and the- Cable... Uh, Cable, it was actually 93. My bad. I was looking it up. Uh, I was way off by two decades. The Close. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, so yeah, so Cable comes back from the future to try to stop this kid. And Cable the, comes back from the future? He's already been to yeah. the, the future? No, he lives in the future. And he he comes lives back. in the future? Yeah, How do we know that? Because that's where he came from. That's we know that his, because of the movie? That's where his family is. He lives. He goes to the in past. The future. Yeah, he lives in the future. He goes to the past to try to kill the uh, Fire Fister dude to be to prevent his family from getting killed. Cable comes back to the future. The cable comes back from the future. Right. Yeah. 
That's what you meant to say. Got it. <laughs> God damn those the mecha see, films. I'm no. Just saying, no, it's you. <laughs> this is your, this you is you fucking up the language. <laughs> I don't know anything about the mythology of these characters. You're fucking me up bad here with, with just a simple word change. Yeah, so he goes back I wish time. you were dead. <laughs> you understand it back to the future is when Marty went back to the 80s. Back to the future. <laughs> well, he tried. You just confused the shit out of him. <laughs> what? That's what those movies were about. No, I got it. I got it. It took me some time, but I, I found that out later on. Let's go, go. So cable, cable. Yeah. So he's trying. So- he's he's like super soldier. Yeah. But he's going from the future to try and kill the person that killed his family. Yeah. Got it. Why do you like this character? You knew I, again. You knew about him. You were like, well, he's playing cable, and I was yeah. like. I don't Whoa. understand. I thought everybody's cutting cable. Because he was, he's always, hey, well, like, Captain Hulu. Yeah, well, I know in this one he was going to be good because he's actually Cable's a good guy. It's well, not like bad. <laughs> he's going to be good. How? Both in performance and in so that's wrong. Character. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> man, that hurt my feelings. My man. What? Josh Brown. <laughs> All right. So you thought he's going to be a good guy. No, yeah, because he is a good guy. He's he on, wasn't a good guy in this. No, he he eventually was, but in the X Men and the and the New Mutants, he was a, a good guy. He was part of the good guys. So, don't you think this whole thing is like turned into professional wrestling? I kept thinking that the whole movie. Some people play the heel, some people play the the hero, and they keep no. like switching. Oh, yeah. And then everybody's like, "Oh, boo! The Rock sucks. Oh, we love the Rock now. He makes a million dollars every movie." <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't that bother you as an adult? Don't answer that. Continue. Because I could do those movies. And I could make them. You million are dollars. in this movie. They just miscast the the, <laughs> the, the, the kid that plays <laughs> Fire Fister. So great, yeah. great poor name, by the so way. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> without without going into it, that's what I mean. You know, that's that's basically what the movie's about, right? You know, you would agree. I don't know what the movie's about based well, on what, what you, you have said. <laughs> I've seen it, so I I don't agree that you've said to the audience what the movie's about. Okay, I can continue. <laughs> okay, I thought it was about family. <laughs> it is about family. <laughs> and, Shut uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so here, Dead, Deadpool's back, right? I think it should be called Deadpool 2, where Marvel characters slum it. I, they should have done something clever with the title of yeah, Deadpool 2. Yeah, something like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Deadpool 2, just no calling. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. yeah, I mean, Not without my so I, this one, I, I was looking forward to it coming Why? out. Because I like the character of Deadpool, and I did enjoy the first one. I, I like the first one a lot. It was good. It was different. Okay, here's the thing about the first one. Sure, I enjoyed the first one. Could never get through it again. Can't watch it a full time the second time. It It's like the shine has gone off of, of the movie completely. I was going to say the shit, but it's not shit. No, that it's one, okay? rather enjoyable. Yeah. If you've seen it, you never go. seen it. Yeah, first time you're like, oh, good, R-rated. I like this. You know, this is a cool thing to do. But it's still some. Thing. Well, yeah, and, and I think that's the point of the second one right here is that mm. they put the they put the schlockiness and their their little Deadpool mm. formula. It's a fucking sequel, dude. But you know, how it, could this one be anything besides what it was, which was a sequel to Deadpool? <laughs> and that's how I felt the whole time too. I mean, yeah, I was laughing at some of the jokes. And they what did, joke? Give me one. There was uh, the <laughs> when he when he said prison wallet. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the first time, the first time when he just slipped it in there, I was like, okay, that's funny. You never watched Oz, did you? No, I never did. It felt like <laughs> this one might have been written, or the humor might have been written by a bunch of six-year-olds. Ryan Reynolds has credit as writer on yeah, this. Yeah, and that's what I mean. It <laughs> felt like duty jokes, butthole jokes, uh, more dick jokes. Yep. It felt like the worst kind of comedy, the easiest kind of comedy. Yeah. But that's not the whole movie. I'm just saying the comedy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's other things about the movie I can pl- complain about too. <laughs> well, yeah, you got fucking. No, 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 no. The only time I laughed was when he did cocaine. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> funny too. Smacked cocaine. We just busted it all in his face. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hell of a way to it. It was it. pretty funny. I mean, yeah, there's funny moments. There's good. There's good witty stuff in there. I mean, the comedy though, it was. It That's fe- not witty. It's just... okay. Let, 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 let's continue. <laughs> so Josh Brolin is sent from the. No, he he's Terminator. He wants pretty, to kill John Connor. Pretty much, yeah. And he. Goes There's back to do two it. charges left though. He has yeah. one to get him there, one to get him back, and the one to go back home. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not an infinite amount of time. Is that like <laughs> people at home that are listening to this this right now and thinking what the indifference is in in the air in this room? Be patient. It's coming. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
and so yeah so he comes back in time and then he's trying to you know deadpool wants to save this kid so he bargains with josh brolin i'm i'm going through the whole story i don't want to give it up for the people who haven't seen it you kind of missed something in the beginning too that happened before she died scotty what happened (laughs) they were gonna who died oh his girlfriend spoilers oh shit they were talking about starting a family and having a kid yep and so she died and they couldn't have a kid and so this fat kid comes into his life and he turns him away and then realizes oh my god i have to save this fat kid because that's how i save myself yeah it's a pretty big part of the story yeah it is but you know i he wants to save the kid you missed that huh? to save himself yeah not because he wants to save the kid you know he <laughs> wants to get back with vanessa um i like the fact that he can uh, go into that secret room of death whenever he wants that's a kind of cool trick. I would use that all Under the time. The water, yeah. I'd say, Andy, uh, shoot me in the face right now, and I get to go talk to Grandma. <laughs> I'd be back five yeah, minutes later. Like, uh, You're not ready yet. Still not ready yet until that one day where she's like, yes, come in. Wait, no, no, I was taking a shit. It's weird. Ah! It's like him and Black Panther can do that. They talk Black to their ancestors. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah Black Panther can do that. But not just Black Panther. Anybody who's the well, king of Wakanda, Wakanda yeah. Yeah. apparently. Yeah. Hey, I watched the movie. Look. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I know stuff. Hey, nerd. <laughs> And it's complete. Oh, I gotta go throw up now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah. I said Wakanda, Ugh. and uh, <laughs> and so yeah, it gives you more of the same. It gives you the action. It gives you the the the, the uh, easy jokes of uh, making it uh, of the world that it's living in and trying to break the fourth wall a bunch. And this one as well. And did you like the movie? Uh, you know, I it. I wasn't mad that I went to go see it, but I was disappointed. That's I mean, a hell of a review. I know, like I was like. I knew not to expect too much because it is a sequel, and I felt like if you just left it at one movie, it been that's it. That's great, you know. Well, you know they're not going to do that. Of course, of course not. And um, yeah, so I mean, I was disappointed by it, but you know, I don't. Why? Because it's just. The, because, I mean, you're you're a big like Deadpool fan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the comic books. It was more. It started from a video game. Then I researched him in the comic Deadpool books. Deadpool had later. a video game. He was. It was Marvel versus Capcom. If you, I remember that game. It can be Deadpool. That's man. right. Him was Super Scroll. You were characters. you at Pizza Hut playing that game <laughs> nonstop. My God. In Pondo it asked you to leave like every day. I had I had a bunch of quarters and a Diet Coke. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> and, and so it's uh, it, it was just that. I feel like it could have just done more. It could have maybe if it raised the stakes I a disagree. little bit more. I think it it did too much. There was so much shit going on in this movie, and basically it was all just leading up to this fucking show Juggernaut be the villain of the fucking movie. I'm not fucking. I'll spoil he it. He wasn't the villain of the movie. Yeah, but he was like the big thing. Like with the thing, like he was like the secondary boss that you couldn't beat until the end. Yeah, but the the kid wasn't a boss either. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. You're trying to psychological get... boss. He yeah. No. Busted juggernaut out of the cage and told him what to do when they got to the school. And they shoved a wire up his ass. Well, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on in this movie? <laughs> yeah, it was all over the place with that, <laughs> dude. <laughs> they, uh, they tried to earn the R a little bit more in this one, you know. Just they tried to earn the R. <laughs> well, I mean, they did, but <laughs> okay. So that was the problem with the movie. Yeah, and it just felt like they, it could have been a very a better story. I mean, they misused the the winningness of the character and the the you know. I mean, I still love the character, but it just didn't do it for me. Mm, see, there's no. I don't even know why he doesn't like the movie. I uh, know, but I'll tell you why I don't. Okay. No. <laughs> I don't want to be too overly critical, but I will. <laughs> Deadpool. The first one is fun because it's original. It's what it is. It's, you know, it's an R-rated Marvel movie. It was one that came out, you know, in, in the new universe. And it was shocking because they didn't, ha- they didn't hold anything back. Language or, you know, fight scenes with blood and guts, you know, that's, that stuff. Uh, even the tongue-in-cheek jokes and talking to the camera in the first one. That stuff's fun because it's, it's the first time you see it in these movies. This one, it's like every sequel... They add 30 pounds of shit on every point I just said. They throw it at you in your face, and by the end of it, you're going, okay, guys, did you really just try to throw all of those things and do it harder, or did you did you try to craft a really good movie here? And there's snippets of good movie in here. There's snippets of good character development in here, but there's just too much shit thrown against the wall and everything's sliding down before it hits the floor and you're going cut okay we got it and that's how you feel the entire movie you're going what for all the people that really liked deadpool and i liked deadpool 
I can't imagine Deadpool the character watching Deadpool 2 and not making fun of it because of how big a pussy he was for crying at all these times or caring so much or the bad jokes or or the characters, the secondary characters that had nothing to do with the story, you know, uh, the weird grabbing of the buttocks. Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I thought that was funny. Anyway, Deadpool, yeah, Deadpool watching Deadpool 2... I can't imagine that he would have stayed the whole time, and I can't imagine that he would not have ridiculed it the entire time. <laughs> as hardcore and sarcastic and ironic as his character is, this was not his movie. This was like somebody's somebody's Deadpool movie that was given ten more millions of dollars. Oh yeah. Like like this is the if this is the one they wanted to make originally, I'm so glad we got the original one. Because this yeah. one was like the supersized Secret of the Ooze Deadpool. Yeah. We well, see what the original director walked off after creative differences. Oh, I was going to ask. Leave Ryan Reynolds and maybe some of the other producers behind the movie, but uh -huh. uh, he walked away. And I get said, it. Said, we can't, uh, I want to do uh, what we did the first time, and I don't want to do a sequel, and they would just want to do a sequel. And that's so it. They made a sequel. And I agree with everything you said, and that fat kid was really annoying. And, and it's really tough now for characters like children, especially when you put him as a central character in a Marvel movie like this, one of the biggest prob problems with Logan was that was that little girl, she just screamed the whole time, high-pitched screamed. Mm. And if you remember, you, you cut back to like, uh, who's, the, who's the girl from, from War of the Worlds? She was really big, Dakota, Dakota Fanning. Fanning. That, she basically banked a career being a little girl that just screamed. And this the same thing with the girl from Logan. And, and then this kid, he basically just, just was a, a snotty mouth. kid yeah. Yeah, who just screams the whole time and he's pissed off and he screams. This is not acting. There are good child actors out there, and this is not this is not a role for that kind of child actor. It's the it's really the role's fault. Yeah, you know, yeah it's not yeah, the kid's yeah, fault yeah, at all yeah. in these roles. It literally is just okay. I need you to be a snotty, bratty kid who yells all the time. I don't want to go do my fucking homework. <laughs> and he, does anybody like that character? And then by the end of it, if if or if or if he does redeem himself or not. You don't care because you're like, you know what? The journey to get here, fuck you, kid. I wrote you off a long time ago. If you were my kid, you'd be in the orphanage house. Yeah. And now you're a good kid? <laughs> oh, fuck you. I don't know. I don't think I don't think the movie earned itself. I don't think it earned its plot. I think it did a disservice to its characters. And it kind of does a disservice to the Marvel Universe. The sequel, at least. Don't think it's as bad as Iron Man 2, though. Yeah, nothing as no. bad as Iron Man 2. Nothing's as bad as Iron Man 2. <laughs> What's, what's worse than that? Thor Ragnarok? Yeah, it's definitely not Any as bad as that. Uh, that. That's a really <laughs> bad one, though. Oof, God. No, but this... Whatever the first one did for, for this universe, this one didn't undo. It's just disappointing. And by the way, you can't break the fourth wall all the time as much as this. This is not <laughs> Ferris Bueller. This doesn't have anything to do with the plot. You can't point out plot holes. Like Scotty said, you can't point out bad writing and then not point out when there is bad writing or plot <laughs> holes. None of this makes sense. The whole movie doesn't make sense. You know, you, and also you... Oh, see, I told you it was going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> okay? The problem also with the fucking movie is you can't keep reminding us that you're... You're a movie, and Ryan Reynolds is a real person, and Sir Patrick Stewart is a real person, and you can't keep doing that. What is the point of me sitting here if you keep telling me that I'm sitting here watching a fucking mockery of a movie? This isn't a comedy. This isn't a straight comedy. Stop reminding me that this is all bullshit, And because pretty soon I'm just going to go, you're right, this is all bullshit. What am I sitting here for? And then by the end, I realize, ah, that's why I don't like sitting here. That's why these movies fucking suck. Not just Deadpool. If the other movies did that, I'd be out immediately. Thank God this is the only movie that did do that. But my God, man, those jokes were driving me crazy. I got about three and then I started rolling my eyes. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> I know, that's the thing. It literally took like the first the three real. minutes of the movie before yeah. I went, oh my God. This is what I'm we're doing. Already, he's already annoyed me. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds has annoyed me. I cannot believe it because he is so perfect for this kind of role. And it was, it was so great about the first one. Yeah. You know, and he's and he's he's basically adopted this role as his role of a lifetime, self-proclaimed, definitely. Yeah. Um, but I still think he's just Van Wilder with, with a mask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we he's really want to get you know, some come on, guys. You know, <laughs> which is cool because I love that. I love that character. I, I, I don't think Van Wilder the movie's that good. No. Uh, it's funny, but it's kind of like Deadpool. It's not the best movie, but it's funny. Yeah. 
Dog semen. They talk about <laughs> semen in this. <laughs> they got, well, Andy, this is a little bit more hardcore. Um, but yeah, what the fuck are you thinking, Andy? What do you mean? I I'm just, just <laughs> I just said everything you did, but less eloquently. You didn't say anything <laughs> didn't say that anything I did. Like that. Yeah, yeah and if you think you did, you should separate from the podcast and go out on your own. Oh well, please, dude. Please, please, please. Yeah, I felt the exact same way. Oh, good, because <laughs> it's your episode. <laughs> Well, I Scotty, th- were you annoyed as fuck, or was it just me? Of course. I no, mean, the like whole say, the movie. first five, yes. Uh, it never went away. It only got more annoying the more we kept getting involved with the kid. Um, Josh Brolin, I thought, looked really lame the first time we saw him. And Absolutely. And never really came around to him after that again. They, they and didn't, I didn't use him who, enough. I didn't know who he was and what he was doing. And yeah. It took it's a little like too long to him. really make that clear in the I beginning really, of what how right? bad he was supposed to be. And then the turn but then you when knew, he does, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, but, yeah, the thing, but you, when, knew, you yeah. knew he was going to... Because of the family thing, you're like, oh, he's, he's supposed got a heart. to be good. Yeah, he carries around a Even this more burnt annoying. teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have a burnt teddy bear on your lapel? Are you fucking crazy? You're supposed to be the evil person. It's supposed to be like the photograph that the people appear back in the photograph, but it's... I we get don't it. care. Just All right, just making sure. I get part it. Part of it. Okay. <laughs> that just didn't help. Where's Moron? <laughs> There's Moron. Yeah, I think they uh, missed you. They could. I think they cut a lot of his shit out because they didn't. He was Thanos and fucking that movie. And well, they whatever. made reference to that. How fun was that? Yeah. <laughs> God, what and is the wrong whole with this X-Force movie? Stuff. I don't oh, know. Well, that's that's Dude. for real. That was in the comic books and shit. But I understand. But zippity doo Crammed it in just for. <laughs> and then they <laughs> that like, one scene in that one those moments. Yeah. Who's the comedian that got killed in this? He had no powers. Rob, uh, oh, yeah, his, Rob Gordon. What's his name? Rob, uh, I forgot his name. Rob, something like that. Rob Lowry. Rob, Rob Delaney. Rob Delaney was in this, and you know he did a fine job, and that was funny and everything. But that was a really weird part too. Terry <laughs> Crews, Rob Delaney, and then that weird character that actually is a Marvel character from the other universe. The one with the hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, you had uh, Zeitgeist. 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 Zeitgeist, and you Bill had the Scar-Gar. guy who doesn't exist. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. This, this, I mean, this is exactly the wrong direction this movie should have gone, but that's exactly what I knew going into it. Yeah. Too. I mean, I just knew you, you don't, you give, you give Deadpool steroids and you get Deadpool 2. Well, and, then you, and hopefully you can pull some parts out of what you really liked about that character to begin with. And actually, from the first one and this one, I really like the character. I like that he's a smart ass. I like he's the smart ass and a badass. He's disfigured. You know, he's got some weird like Tom Cruise vanilla sky thing going on. And and uh, you know, I like his relationship with his with his his girlfriend or whatever. There's things I really like about the character. It almost makes me want to go back and read the comic book because of how bad they fucked up this. But I don't got that kind of time. Yeah. I can just ask Andy and he can tell me what happened. So he was supposed to be in like uh, Gardens of the Galaxy or something, or no? Who? Or in the? Oh, he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be an X Men. Yeah, he co- he floats around throughout the universe. But is he an X Men in the actual comic books? It, no, I don't think he ever becomes. I think he's just part of the X Force, and he's just like their friend. Mm, cool. I like the Office ripoff joke too. In training. <laughs> mm. Mm, to the office. That's a one percenter we're gonna call that. But the people that wow. got it are just gonna melt their minds when they get that one. Final thoughts on Deadpool two, even though I don't know why you didn't like or did like the movie. I didn't like it because it just it disappointed me. I, you the didn't first, like it because it disappointed. The you. first movie was different. It was its own movie. This is just a sequel, like we said, and that's why I was hoping that maybe it would stay the course even just a little bit more than a, than you know, or just take a little bit more. But it didn't. It just gave Stay me the, the course a little bit more than what? You know, was, well, then I thought it was going to be in my mind if they oh, just stayed the course a little bit it. more. But you know, your thoughts did. are all in your mind. And on the podcast, we like to speak through the microphone. Yeah, I don't know, man. This, this, it was just a mistake. Did you not listen to what I just said? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. Sound like RuPaul writing me off. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, I just missed up. That's it. Yeah. That's that. It. Number one this weekend, but it's a misstep. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Josh Brolin. Scotty, man. save that. Final thoughts from you on why this movie didn't work. I like the way he summed that up. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. And if you had said it, it had been eloquent. But you, this, these are your movies, man. I know. you got to come to some kind of defense or you have to say something about this besides, yeah, it didn't work. That that's Especially for your you're character. A, you're this a Marvel your fan. You're so, you can't be so snobbish just, just to say it didn't work. Yeah, they, they for being the movie, they they didn't 
do anything different like they did in the first one. You know, when the first one came out, I get granted that it came out. So you have to keep in that universe or a little bit in that same vein, but they just schlocked it up. Man. We're never going to get to the bottom. You're like somebody who <laughs> ate an entire chocolate cake, felt good while they were eating it because it was chocolate cake. And then at the end, you just went, I just ate an entire cho- chocolate cake. What the hell did I just do with my life? You can't sum it up, but you're somehow fulfilled because you got exactly what you wanted. I didn't get what I wanted. But it was too much by the end, and no. you don't can't take it. That's yeah. absolutely true. I just Thank to... you very much, uh, Andy Drogis. The Four Seasons film will continue next week. Um, by the way, uh, how did you like my spoiler before you went to see this movie? I was kind of pissed at one moment, then I wasn't. Then I was pissed again, but <laughs> then I wasn't. Did you hear the spoiler, Scotty? Yeah. I loved it. because it, uh, But did you realize that it wasn't a spoiler when you sat down in the theater? And saw what happened? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> and that was the point of it. Because uh, for those of you, you've made it this far, so spoiler alert. Um, before <laughs> before Andy went to see this movie, I saw him and said, Deadpool kills himself, and I ran out of the room. And then he had to go see the movie. And I figured, you know, he's probably going to be really pissed off up until he realizes that at the beginning of the movie that he survives, basically, oh, I knew killing as as, himself. As soon as I knew, if it was up front, I was like, that motherfucker, this has nothing to do with him. But the- you were really pissed off up until that moment? I was a little perturbed. Uh, I'm so thankful. <laughs> uh, Scotty Brown, I'm going to thank you also for uh, clarifying this uh, weirdo's thoughts on Deadpool 2. See ya. And uh, Andy Drudge, did I thank you? Yes, you did. I, I don't think I did, actually. You I don't think you did, though. Well, okay. I'm not going to. Um, but Andy, uh, you were here. Thanks. <laughs> I wasn't thanking you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> And for myself, Nathan Robert Blackburn, and that'll do it for the spring season of film. Unfortunately, we have to wrap it up with Deadpool 2, and uh, many of you might have uh, differing uh, views on this. Blame it all on Andy Drogges, whatever you think about this episode, because he he made us go see this. This was his movie. It doesn't matter what we say. Scotty and I know nothing about the Marvel Universe, about the comic books, and we could care less about the Marvel Universe. But we go see them for Andy Drogis' sake. And he had nothing to say on this subject tonight. I want to point that out again. Nothing to say on this subject tonight about why he liked the movie or didn't like the movie. And it was summed up with a chocolate cake reference by Scotty Brown. So thank you, Andy Drogis, for being here. But thank you more to Scotty Brown for the reference to chocolate cake and Deadpool 2. Check us out on Facebook.com slash Four Seasons of Film, Four Seasons of Film.com. Also on Twitter at Four Seasons Pod at Andy Drogis on Twitter. Make sure you tweet him this week, even though he doesn't tweet or retweet anything back to anyone ever. He is useless on Twitter. And at Nate R. Blackburn on Twitter as well. The Four Seasons of Film will continue with the first summer season episode next week. A new Star Wars movie. Get the hell out of here. Well, we might have to. Four Seasons of Film will continue next week. Keep film alive.